Hey everybody, I was asked to do a tag by someone. I cannot remember the name and I do apologize to that person. I think they're a new subscriber, so. Um, I have candy in my mouth, so I know it's kind of rude, but I'm sorry. I have like a froggy throat. It's really nasty here in PA, Eastern PA. Rain for like two days now. And our whole weekend's supposed to be like this, and it kind of sucks because it's like my only time off from work. You'll notice that I'm in a different place. I'm at work right now. So, try not to have that picture in the background for confidentiality reasons. Okay, so, pretty much I was asked to do a tag about hyped up um, products on YouTube or just the beauty community, period. I'm going to do letdowns. Um, some of these products weren't so hyped up. A couple were, but um, I'm just going to do kind of a letdown video slash hyped up things on um, YouTube and the beauty community. Um, first one I'm going to start out with is Max Lip Glass. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this. This one is in Scent Me, number 883. This stuff is sticky as hell. Like, even to get it out of the tube, it feels like it's sticking. There's some pink on it, because I'll use it once in a while. I keep it in my purse. But it does last a while on the lips, but I just don't like sticky, sticky lip gloss. I'd rather have a smooth lip gloss that doesn't last than a sticky lip gloss that lasts. MAC lip glosses just aren't for me. This is the only one I have. So, yeah, just not for me. Another one is, I think this is CoverGirl. Yeah, a CoverGirl lipstick in classic red. That's what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it, then you guys will know what I'm talking about. It's called classic red, right? Tell me, tell me why the hell it goes on pink. It's pink. It's not red. I wanted, like, a nice pin up -y red lipstick, and this is pink. It goes on like fuchsia. Not for me. It's smooth. It's nice. Otherwise, but if I want a bright fuchsia lip, that's what I go for. But I wanted a red one. So that is out for me. Another thing is CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stains. It looks like this. I have it in 405 and 400. These are not lip stains. They do not stay on comes in a little marker like this. They don't stay on. If I want just to put this on and then a clear gloss over, it'll stay for a little while. But, oops, sorry guys. In my eyes, a lip stain is supposed to stay all day. It's supposed to sink into your lips and stay all day. I've tried leaving this on for like a half an hour, then putting stuff on top of it. Still don't work. It's supposed to dry, sink into your lips, and leave a color. It doesn't do that. But I do like the colors of them. So I do use them still, but it's just not a lip stain. It just doesn't last. And it's, like, called Outlast, CoverGirl Outlast. doesn't work for me. Not for me. Another one is Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, big and very black. This doesn't do anything for my lashes. I mean, I used to use this when I was younger, and it was a good mascara for that. So if you're starting out with makeup... Um, this mascara may be good for you, just for, like, a nice little lash, but since I've, um, expanded my mascara collection, I never use this. I've actually been trying to get rid of it with one of my girlfriends, because I got a double pack, but I don't like this at all. For use, those of you who do like that, I'm sorry, I just don't like it. Another one I got from Hot Topic. It was supposed to be Blood Red Lipstick, because here's goes on my red lipstick hunt. So it looks like that. I was like, ooh, yay. Guess what? Hot pink. It goes on hot pink. You, It looks red here, but it's not. Um, the sticker says blood red. And then when you get down, it says soulmate. Do you see that? It says soulmate. And then that says blood red. So I guess the label was wrong on the outside. And on the inside, it was right. Because I could see it being like, Soulmate here, look at I wiped it off, and it's bright pink. I'm going to go to the one that really disgusts me. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Zero. 
This does it doesn't go on black. It doesn't stay on my waterline. You saw my Milani. I compared Milani Liquify Eye and this. Milani Liquify Eye is six dollars, and this is eighteen for a full size. And this is not for me at all. It, the Milani stays on my waterline all day, literally all day. This does not stay on my eyes. This is so hyped up. The price is out of this world when you can get a $6 one from Milani rather than pay $18 for this in full size. This goes on my eyes gray. It's supposed to be the best, quote unquote, best black eyeliner. This goes on my eyes gray. It's not black. The Milani one goes on a thick, opaque black. Stays black all day. This one goes on gray, stays on gray. So this was so hyped up, and this is not, it's not worth $18. So not worth $18. The Milani one, $6. I'd pay $18 for that one if it was $18. Not for this one. Next thing's from e.l.f. We all know I love the translucent mattifying powder. I love it. It works so good. But guess what? That's how much product you get. If both of these were filled, like this one and this one, yeah, cool. I would love this stuff forever. But I hit pan on these so fast that I could go through one every one to two weeks. And something like this should last me quite some time. So, that being said, I like the product, but I don't like how little you get. Like, there are other stuff you get a full pan. Awesome. I don't need this sponge. I just don't need it. That's what goes in that spot. But I do like this. I will continue to purchase it. But I don't like how little product you get and how fast it goes. I guess it's real powdery. And it's definitely not translucent. I mean, it rubs in fine. But if for a darker complected woman, I can see this totally making their skin white. So, I'm finished. Excuse me, I need to wipe my nose because my nose is running. Because it is so nasty out. Um... If you guys have any questions about anything, leave me a comment, and please don't forget to rate and subscribe. Also, um, I'm sorry if any of these upset anyone, but this is just my opinion and everything I did purchase with my own money. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day, even though it's shitty in PA. If you live around me, I'm sorry. It's crap. Have a good weekend otherwise. I know I will. I'm going to an art show tonight, and I can't wait. All right. Bye, everybody.